Ooh, here's a good one that I want to talk about. Mm. And I know you're going to go off about this. Let's talk about anime characters in D&D. No. Yes. <laughs> this is going to be why? an entire episode of the podcast. Why? Let's do a little mini teaser of what it's going to be. Fucking why? Because <laughs> oh, I own okay. Anime 5E, right. uh, and it's a dope book, but no. I also know that sometimes... <laughs> People like to take anime characters uh, and make it like a level. I want to be Goku at level one. Like, well, congratulations. You are like child Goku when he was being trained by Grandpa Gohan. You don't have. No, you don't start with Kaioken. Sorry. You know what the fucking problem is, man? The fucking problem with the anime D&D people is, is anime is awesome because you've got like this lame ass dude or chick who doesn't know jack shit about fucking anything. And they're, they have some traumatic event, and all of a sudden they're super badasses. I can fight God, and I have the power of demons and anime on my side. Ah! And they're fucking whooping <laughs> ass and doing dope shit like season fucking one. Yeah. Now, D&D is a little bit more realistic. Season one in D&D, you're level one. Yeah, you might you don't die get to fucking, goblins. <laughs> yeah, you don't fucking run into goblins at street corner, and they're like, suck, Sub. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, I flick my glasses up. A spark. It's caught, you know, like the little light sparks. Just pew, yeah. And you've, and like, ugh, surprise, goblins. You didn't know that I know the force of masturbation skills. <laughs> and fucking kills all the goblins with his special fucking anime powers. I'm the DM. I'm like, what the fuck is that? First of all, yeah, no. how is that part of your backstory? <laughs> Second of all, if that was a power, it would not be something you have at level one. You can't just fucking blow up these goblin cocks. It just doesn't work. You Get the fuck out of the alleyway. These goblin cocks. And or like like when we're doing character creation, and someone will someone will hey, send me a DM, and they're like, "Hey, I know what I want my character to be," and I'm like, "Great, is it original?" And they're like, "Sort of. It's sort of like a mashup of like some 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 characters that I took inspiration from." And I'm like, "That's fantastic. Yeah, it's great. I love inspiring my characters." Like, the you heard of fucking Goku? Yeah. So <laughs> so so imagine Goku and One Punch Man had a baby and that baby had to fight through a Tekken tournament. That's me, Constitution 20, dick, 18 inches long. I can fly and I can kick people to death. In my backstory, when I was born, I burst from the womb, strangling the doctor with the umbilical cord. He was a spy. And you're just like, calm the f down. First of all, you are level one. Yeah. Goku, One Punch Man, like, yeah, they had some training times, but they're fucking super powerful for whatever. One Punch Man, not going there with you fucking fans and people. Love the show. Don't bring it to d and I've never seen One Punch Man, so I don't know. It is amazing. It. I've heard it's really good. It is so, is yeah. hilarious. It's fantastic. I will rant about that some other time. But right now is about you guys. If you think you can come into the game throwing shurikens and fucking, I don't know, saying your weird one-liners and running off into the sunlight, that's fantastic and all, but if you're level one and you pull some yar yar days bullshit on my group of goblins, they're gonna take turns, you know, fist fucking you with daggers. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Think about yeah. that. You can walk up anime slow motion style, glistle of sun in your in your eyes, just like giving the anime look. But when seven <laughs> goblins surround you with pack tactics and beat the fuck out of you with clubs, you're mm -hmm. no longer Goku. You are NPC number seven. Nico, Nico, kneecaps negated. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you're fucking. You're dead now. Anime is anime character. Anime based characters are cool in D and D. They absolutely are. However, <laughs> players don't go into uh, session one, level one, and be like, "I'm Goku. I want to turn Super Saiyan Blue at level 4 I'm like, uh, "Hold, yeah, wait a minute." <laughs> if you're Goku, the dude at level one, and Goku, the Super Saiyan at level 20, hell yeah. Yeah, that's great. Scale. Yeah. Scale yourself correctly. Yeah, if you want to play as an anime character, fucking go for it, because it's really cool. I've done mm -hmm. characters like that before. However, it's it's about the progression of the growth. The, the cool thing about, like, anime in general, the, despite them being, like, overpowered off the rip, even then, like, you know, premiere episodes, is still regardless, like, you see them grow <laughs> over time through the anime get stronger and stronger. It should be the same way with your D&D character. I've had a thought. Yes. Fuck your player characters. Fuck all you people <laughs> and you, your anime wants and needs. As dungeon masters, we should take the anime characters back. We should take these tropes <laughs> back and we should use them as our BBEGs. And if anybody else tries to do some anime bullshit with their characters, we fucking punish them. Yeah, you like look at your players and you're like, I am the anime now. <laughs> Who's the BBEG? I don't know. Some cute little guy in a little jacket. He's got a cute little haircut, his sunglasses. Oh, and guess what? When he's angry enough, his hands explode into sunshine and he fucking mobs on people with it. 
Hey, we're the anime character now. No more anime PCs, only anime bad guys. That would be fun to turn a, an anime character. Like, like, oh, you thought you were Goku? No, you're fighting Goku. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kamehameha, f*** you. 